Hello, great tens. Do you know what inflation is? Inflation is the steady compounded increase in prices over time throughout the economy. A car that costs 40,000 10 years ago will cost about 150,000 in today's money. This is due to inflation. Let's join Geke as she teaches Gerald about inflation. He is particularly concerned about his transport costs of 200 rand a month. Let's see how inflation affects this cost. Inflation refers to the rate at which the prices of goods and other services increase over time. For example, if inflation is at 5% per year, at the end of the year, goods and services will cost 5% more than they did at the beginning of the year. How do they decide the rate of inflation? One way of measuring inflation is by using the Consumer Price Index, or CPI. This is a measure of the cost of a basket of goods consumed by an average consumer. The basket would contain things like food, clothing and transport costs. If the cost of the basket of goods in January this year was say 100 rand and a year later it was 105 rand, then we would know that the inflation rate for the year was 5%. So what you're saying is that my transport cost could be affected by inflation. Although I pay 200 rand per month this year, it could be more expensive next year and even more expensive the year after that. Exactly. Whatever goods or services you pay for will increase by a certain percentage each year. So that's like compound interest, right? Yes. Remember the inflation rate always changes. Ideally, we'd like it kept as low and as constant as possible. Then we can buy more for less. But getting back to your transport costs, let's assume that over the next two years the inflation rate won't increase more than 0.5% and that it is currently at 5%. That means that goods or services won't increase by more than 5.5% compounded over two years. Can I see what all of this will work out to? Go ahead. Substituting into the compound interest formula, we replace P with 200 for the principal. R is 5.5 and the number of periods here becomes 2. That's it. Now, what comes next? We simplify inside the bracket and that gives me 1,055. Raising this to the power 2 gives me approximately 1,1. 1, 1. Now multiplying this with the 200 gives me a final amount of 222. That's 22 rand more per month that I must find in two years time. This has shown us that inflation is the reason for year-on-year -year price increases. Remember that we use the compound interest formula to calculate this. A equals P times, open brackets, 1 plus I, close brackets, to the power of N. Thank you for joining us, grade 10s. Remember to look at the tasks for this section in the finance and growth task video. You can also find more resources on our website www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Now go and get some inflation on those assessment scores.